Am I audible? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. What have we done in our last class, please? Tell me. We have talked about blood. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Today we will try to know about the heart, you know? Human heart. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shubhana Khan is a new student in our class today. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Today we will try to understand human heart. Okay. What do you know about human heart? Can anyone of you let me know about human heart? Human heart. Let me draw a human heart for you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Suppose. Suppose this is a heart, okay? Suppose this is a human heart. What is the size of human heart? It is approximately close to human fist. If this is a fist. The size of the human heart is approximately uh, closer to human fist. Okay? Suppose this is a heart. Uh, I'm cutting the heart, heart into two halves like this. This is a called transverse section. And we will see inside the heart, okay? We will cut the heart in this way, like this, and we will try to look inside the heart. How does heart look like? Okay. So let me draw a structure of heart for you. Okay. This is not the real structure. I will show you the real structure. Okay. But to understand the concept of heart, let me draw a structure of heart for you. Okay, can you see four chambers? Can you see four chambers? There are two small chambers here and two large chambers. This small chambers are called auricles. What, what are called small chambers? This small chambers are, are called auricle. This one is right atrium. Right atrium. Right atrium. Atrium. This one is called right atrium or right auricle or right auricle. The first chamber, okay, auricle. This small, the other small chamber is called left atrium or left auricle, okay, left atrium or left auricle. Auricle, okay. This is called, this is called right ventricle this is called right this large structure is called right ventricle this is uh, the other large uh, structure bag like structure is called left ventricle okay okay suppose uh, heart is located in between lungs heart is located in between lungs okay so suppose this is a suppose this area represent lungs suppose this area represent lungs okay what will happen okay i have already discussed you about uh, about what i have discussed you about respiration suppose this is a cell hai na? suppose this is a cell suppose this is blood vessel suppose this is a blood vessel blood vessel will carry what blood vessel will carry two things hai na? first one is glucose molecule these are glucose molecule okay 
glucose molecule and other thing is oxygen what will happen blood will transfer this glucose molecule c6h12 o6 and with the help of oxygen with the help of oxygen this glucose will produce energy which in the form of atp i have told you this in previous classes okay so this is blood vessel okay so what will a blood vessel do blood vessel carry blood through all of our body hai na so acha okay now what will happen this will produce this will produce co2 this will produce co2 again another blood vessel an another blood vessel will take this co2 this co2 another blood vessel will take this co2 and it will carry this co2 blood to the heart from heart this blood co2 blood will enter into blood with co2 blood with co2 will enter will enter into lungs into lungs what will happen in lungs the co2 air what will happen in lungs the co2 air in lungs suppose this is blood vessel okay the blood vessel have what co2 gas in lungs we have alveoli i have already told you in lungs we have bag like small bag like structure called alveoli yes or no i have already discussed this so in lungs there is alveoli which have oxygen so what will happen inside lungs oxygen will enter into blood vessel oxygen will enter into blood blood vessel and co2 will enter into lungs and now this now this blood vessel which contain now this blood vessel which contain what which contain oxygen now this blood vessel which contain oxygen pro, will take this oxygen to the cell this cycle will repeat itself okay so there here you can see there are two type of blood vessel one that carry oxygen one that carry oxygen and one that carry co2 okay there is a small there is a pipe i will mention the i will mention the name later on okay let me draw different blood vessels first okay let me draw blood vessels here there will there is a blood vessel which will enter into which will enter into right atrium this is called svc what beta svc okay this will carry co2 blood this this will carry co2 blood what is the full form of svc superior vena cava superior vena cava what is its function carries carry deoxygenated blood what is the meaning of deoxygenated blood deoxygenated blood that is blood with co2 deoxygenated blood towards heart towards heart from lower body part from lower body uh here suppose here is a heart okay so i i have structures uh, located beneath the heart okay so this vena cava superior vena cava will carry deoxygenated blood from lower body part from lower body part we also required oxygen in blood uh, in brain also okay so there is another vena cava which is called svc sorry this one is called in ivc sorry this one is called ivc this one is called superior vena cava superior vena cava superior vena cava what will it do it will carry it will carry blood from carry co2 blood deoxygenated blood from upper part of the body from upper part of the body part of the 
body. Okay. This is this is inferior vena cava, not superior. This is inferior vena cava. Okay. Inferior vena cava. Okay. Now what will happen? This superior vena cava and inferior vena cava will take all the CO2 blood from the body and will dump the CO2 blood inside this chamber. This chamber is called what, beta? This chamber is called right atrium. What is this chamber is known as? This is called as right atrium. Right atrium. Okay. So blood will enter into this. Okay. Can you see there is a there is a, a septa there is a wall which divide right atrium this is called left atrium what is this this is called left atrium okay okay this is called left atrium okay so can you see a wall a wall which divide right atrium and left and atrium manha Can you yes. see a wall? Uh, this this wall is called interatrial septum. Okay. Interatrial septum. Okay. Okay. Now what will happen? And this there is another wall. Can you see there is another wall, which divide which divide what? left ventricle and right ventricle this is called right ventricle this is what right ventricle ventricle and this is left ventricle ventricle can you see the writing clearly okay this one is called left ventricle now what will happen uh, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava it is the blood vessel okay what is these these are basically veins these are veins there are two type of blood vessel one is called vein and second one is called arteries hai na vein and arteries okay this superior vena cava and inferior vena cava will take co2 blood and will pump this co2 blood inside what beta inside right atrium can you see there is a septa which divide atrium and ventricular can you see a wall which divide upper part upper chamber into lower chamber can you see this purple color line yes or no can you see this line yes sir okay yes. this divide the upper half and lower half okay this is also a septa you don't need to remember the name of this there is a opening can you see a opening through which blood can enter into uh, this ventricle can you see the opening this opening is called bicuspid wall this opening is called bicuspid wall and another here you can see another opening here you can see another opening can you see this opening this is called tricuspid wall what tricuspid wall okay Valve is basically gate-like structure. What is valve? Valve is basically you can say gate-like structure. What, beta? Gate-like structure. Okay. By by means two. So made up of this gate is made up of two muscle. This gate. Suppose there is a blood in upper atrium, right atrium. There is a valve. There is a gate made up of two muscle. When there is blood. in upper right atrium the gate will open and blood will enter into right ventricle okay so this this gate is called bicuspid valve now what will happen now what will happen see now from the blood the deoxygenated blood which type of blood beta co2 the deoxygenated blood the deoxygenated blood is present inside right atrium there is another pipe there is another there is another another 
pipe or another blood vessel which carry blood from right atrium to lungs okay this is called pulmonary this is called this is known as pulmonary acha there are two type of blood vessel let me explain you there are two type of blood vessel blood vessel first one is called veins first one is known as veins v e i n s veins and second one is called artery can you tell me the major difference between veins and artery can any one of you tell me the major difference between vein and artery veins carry blood to the heart artery carries it away from the heart very good very very good here you can see this is veins hai na this vein is carrying blood towards heart yes or no so vein are those blood vessel which carry blood towards heart okay so i can say vein carry blood towards heart acha tell me one thing uh, i have already told you told you uh, the i have already told you the function of blood yes or no i have explained you the function of blood yes or no in previous classes i have told you the function of red yeah. blood cell function of white blood cells blood carry nutrients glucose molecule all these are basically function of blood so you have to write it down in uh, in your notebook and artery okay and what is what is artery artery carry blood carry blood away from blood away from heart away from heart okay this is the major difference you don't have to remember ki veins carry deoxygenated blood artery carry oxygenated blood no veins carry blood towards heart artery carry blood away from heart okay okay so this pipe now the co2 blood now the co2 blood this co2 blood will enter into what's beta enter into lungs so this is vein or artery the yellow color pipe yellow color blood vessel it is a vein or a artery this yellow color pipe carry blood away from heart it takes the blood from heart from right atrium towards lungs so it carry the blood away from heart so away from heart so then it must be artery okay so name of this is called artery this is called artery what is the full name the full name of this pipe is called pulmonary artery okay now here in lungs the blood will purify exchange of co2 and o2 will take place now there will another pipe will enter now from here another pipe will enter into into left atrium this pipe will carry which type of blood oxygenated or deoxygenated oxygenated sir oxygenated okay subhana can you tell me uh, which type of uh, blood will it carry amna this green pipe will carry which type of blood oxygenated or deoxygenated it will carry beta oxygenated blood because in lungs purification of blood occurs in lungs purification of blood occurs okay okay sir occurs now now blood will now oxygenated blood here oxygenated blood here is oxygenated blood okay oxygenated blood now oxygenated blood will enter here now the blood will enter inside this part of uh, left ventricle okay here it is oxygenated blood oxygenated blood now this oxygenated blood need to be transported to all the body part yes or no now this oxygenated blood is required by all the cell so now heart will pump the blood towards all the body part okay so there is a there is a pipe there is a there is a huge pipe which which is called aorta which is called aorta 
what is aorta it is a main artery main main artery okay main artery it is a kind of artery okay carries oxygenated blood to the whole body to the whole body carry oxygenated blood to the whole body so artery carry which type of blood oxygenated blood okay artery acha can you name this is this green pipe is artery or vein this green pipe is artery or vein any one of you this green pipe is artery or a vein it's a vein sir ha this is a vein this is a vein because it carry blood towards heart it carry blood towards heart okay this vein is situated uh, it's uh, related with lungs this vein is re, uh, related with uh, lungs that's why its name would be pulmonary vein what beta pulmonary vein pulmonary means pulmonary means relation with pulmonary means it is related with what it is related with some kind of lungs okay okay here you can see that artery carry what beta oxygenated blood or deoxygenated blood here tell me this is a artery this is a this blue color structure is artery it is carrying oxygenated blood or deoxygenated blood oxygenated oxygenated here you can see this vena cava what is this vena cava vena cava is main vein it is a main vein okay it is main vein of the body vein of the body okay and veins carry what which type of blood veins carry deoxygenated blood but here here you can see that this is a pulmonary vein but pulmonary vein carry which type of blood oxygenated blood okay so vein carry what which type of blood co2 wala blood deoxygenated blood but there is one exception there is one vein in our body which is called pulmonary vein which carry oxygenated blood and the artery carry what which type of blood oxygenated blood but there is one artery which carry deoxygenated blood which type of blood deoxygenated blood okay here you can see that that okay okay heart is a organ heart is a organ made up of muscle can any one of you tell me the name of muscle which is heart made up of heart is made up of which type of muscle heart is made up of which type of muscle any one of you uh, i can't hear you martin but i hope you have said the right answer heart is made up of cardiac muscle what beta cardiac muscle so let me draw a muscle around heart let me draw a muscle around heart can you see the brown color structure what is this this is showing the heart muscle okay yeah. this is showing the heart muscle what is this this is cardiac muscle this is cardiac muscle so heart is made up of which type of muscle cardiac muscle cardiac. okay acha here you can see that i have draw more muscle near left ventricle why heart is thick why heart is thick at left ventricle left ventricle there is or why there is more muscle why there is more muscle more muscle more muscle at left ventricle okay 
first copy the diagram of heart then if you have any doubt ask me then you have to answer this question okay copy the diagram of heart if you have any doubt please ask me then try to answer uh, the answer this question okay Uh, there is a correction here. Here I have told you uh, in right auricle and right ventricle, there is a wall which is called bicuspid. And in, uh, uh, there is a wall in, uh, in, in left atrium and a left ventricle, which is called tricuspid. The name of this valve is called bicuspid. Ulta This is called bicuspid. And this one is called tricuspid. Okay. You don't need to remember the bicuspid and tricuspid ball. Okay. Tricuspid. This one was tricuspid and this one was bicuspid. I have written uh, bicuspid here. Okay. So please correct this. Let me know when you are done with this page.
if you have any doubts you can ask in the chat box Done? Yeah, no, so. Arshia, Hamna, any problem? No, sir. Okay, very good. So done. Done. Okay. Okay, can you tell how many of you can... Uh, Tell me the difference between artery and vein. By looking at, at this slide, by looking at, at this diagram, can you tell me the difference between artery and vein? Okay. Vein carries blood to the heart. Okay. Artery carries blood from heart to rest of the body. Okay. Chal, let me write down it for you. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we will try to uh, differentiate between artery and vein. Okay. okay. There is uh, artery. Artery. Spelling may its spelling can be wrong okay veins okay now we have to write the difference okay here you can see artery carry blood away from the heart first point carry blood away from the from the heart okay vein carry blood towards the heart okay carry blood Towards the heart. Towards the heart. What is the second point? You, here in the diagram, you can see that vein carry which, which type of blood? Deoxygenated blood. Okay. So, so vein carry, vein, vein carry deoxygenated. What is the meaning of deoxygenated blood with CO2? Hai na? Vein carry deoxygenated blood. Okay. So artery carry what? Artery carry carry oxygenated oxygenated blood. Okay. But there is an exception. There is an exception. Na? There is one artery which carry deoxygenated blood. There is one artery which carry deoxygenated blood can you tell me the name here you can see there is there is an artery pulmonary artery which carry which type of blood deoxygenated blood okay okay so there is one artery which carry deoxygenated blood the exception is pulmonary artery pulmonary artery and there is one vein which carry which type of blood there is one vein which carry ox oxygenated blood and the exception exception is here you can see in the diagram there is one uh, there is a vein this is called pulmonary vein which carry oxygenated blood so there is one exception vein carry deoxygenated blood but exception is pulmonary vein okay Achha. can you tell me uh, the pressure of blood you know the pressure blood blood is like uh, water flowing in a uh, pipe water flowing in a pipe okay so there are two type of pipe which uh, first one is veins first one is veins and the second one is artery the second one is what where is artery here you can see artery the pressure inside vein is more or the pressure inside artery is more in which uh, uh, blood vessel there is more pressure of blood in artery or veins in arteries uh, definitely here you can see that here you can see 
in left ventricle suppose this is a ventricle it will contract and by contraction the blood will pump to whole body so blood will pump so, okay to so, jahan se niklega beta wahan pressure zyada hoga and from artery it will enter into vein so so the pressure inside the artery will be more okay very good so the pressure inside the, uh, the blood pressure blood pressure is more here और बीपी यहां पर क्या होगा ब्लड प्रेशर इज लेस हियर बीपी इज लेस कैन एनी वन ऑफ यू टेल मी वन मोर डिफरेंस बिटवीन आर्टरी एंड वेज वन मोर बेटा द प्रेशर ओके यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट बेटा मार्टिन द ब्लड फ्लोस मोर क्विकर इन आर्टरीज ओके आई कांट हियर ओके लेट मी टेल यू सॉरी i can't hear you beta sorry sorry okay here here the pressure is more so the wall of the artery the wall of the artery must be thick hai na to wall of artery jahan par pressure zyada hoga wahan par wall kya hogi moti hogi hai na to wall of artery wall of artery is more thick than that of than that of vein एंड यहां पर वाइस वर्षा इसका उल्टा वाइस वर्षा मतलब वॉल ऑफ वेन इज थिन वेन कंपेयर टू आर्टरी तो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आर्टरी एंड वेन प्लीज कॉपी दिस let me know when you are done with this slide yeah i understand sabne likh liya okay okay now by looking at this diagram can you tell me how many times that does heart contract okay for example to suppose this is a balloon okay there there is a water okay when i will contract the balloon then the water will move out yes or no in the same way this is a chamber of heart and inside this chamber there is blood when heart will contract when heart will contract it will push the blood outside into the blood vessel yes or no okay yes, yes or no beta how many times does heart contract by looking at this diagram tell me heart will contract beta two times heart will contract two times okay let me explain you suppose dekho dekho beta here you can see here you can see, let me use spotlight okay here here uh, let me use another color here you can see the blood will the blood will enter here blood will enter into this part okay then blood will enter into this right atrium right ventricle yes or no from here the heart will contract heart will contract when heart will contract the blood will move towards what beta move towards lungs okay how many times does heart contract till now one time now from lungs the blood will enter into left atrium from left atrium the blood will enter into what beta left ventricle and from left ventricle again heart will contract so that blood will enter into aorta and aorta will carry blood to the Whole body. How many times does heart uh, contract or heart beat? Two times. Two times. Okay. So so this is called double circulation. So that's why 
human circulation what is circulation circulation means flowing of blood that's why human circulation is called double circulation because heart beats two times okay so now we will talk about double circulation now we will talk about double circulation I will make a simple diagram and I will explain you in detail in next class. Okay. Suppose this is heart. Suppose this is heart. Heart is made up of how many chamber, beta? Four chamber. Heart is made up of how many chamber? Four chamber. Suppose this is lungs. Suppose this is lungs. Hana? And suppose here is a it is a body part. It is a body part. Okay. I'm taking any body part. Okay. What will happen? What will happen from this body, from this? Which type of blood will enter into heart? Which type of blood will enter into heart? CO2, ha, deoxygenated. And from here, the uh, from here the blood will move towards what? From here the blood will move here. From here the blood will move towards lungs. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. And from lungs again the blood will enter into heart. Okay. And from heart again. Blood will enter into blood will enter blood will leave the heart with the help of aorta. Yes or no? Okay. So here here this circulation this is called pulmonary circulation. What beta pulmonary circulation? What will happen in pulmonary circulation? Exchange of gases will take place. है ना? In lungs exchange of gases will take place. Exchange of Gases will take place. Okay, and this one is called this this circulation from body to heart and again to body. This one is called systemic circulation. What? This one is called systemic circulation. Okay. Heart beat here, beating of heart, beating of heart, heart beat, heart contract, heart contract. Again here, heart will contract. Heart contract how many times? Heart contract how many times? Two times. Two times. Okay. So contraction of heart, contraction of heart is called. Systole is called what, beta? Is called systole. Okay. After, acha. After contraction, this is a heart. After contraction, again heart will move back to its original shape. Yes or no? This is contraction, so this is relaxation. Okay. So heart follows two things: contraction, then relaxation. Okay. Relaxation of heart. Is called diastole. Is called diastole. Okay. So this is double circulation. Okay. Heart two times pump. Does it? Two kinds of circulation. Does it? Pulmonary and a systemic circulation. Okay. I will send you a assignment uh, in which uh, there will be a written explanation of all the double circulation. Okay. So you can copy uh, the written part from that from there. Okay. Any doubt? No sir. Please copy this, and you can leave after copying. So can I leave? I already introduced. Okay, you can definitely. Thank you, sir. Definitely. Subhana, did you enjoy the today's class? What sir? अच्छा लगा आपको आज का class? Yes sir. 
Okay.